Hey guys, it's Kath and welcome to this video. I finally decided to do a paint with me series. Yeah! But before we get to chatting, the materials that I'm using for this painting are the Canson Mixed Media Excel and Science A5. Of course, my Himimiya gouache and some random paint brushes I've collected over the years. So I like starting my gouache paintings off with sketching my pencil sketches with colored pencils. Uh -huh, inception. <laughs> I usually use color pencils to um, emphasize the sketch lines that I have on the paper because I've noticed that once I start putting on the gouache on top of the sketch, I can't see my pencil lines and the pencils, colored pencils just help me see them more. Yeah, and when I do like drawings that overlap each other, I need the colors to distinguish between them because I get really confused. <laughs> I'm just using a Faber Castell. How do you say it? Faber? Faber. Faber. Faber Castell. Cast Castle. Castle. <laughs> Classic color pencils. Yeah, I need mean, it still gets covered up under the paint, but I notice that the blue tends to stand out even after a few layers i don't know if that's because himi gouache is i've noticed that it's still a bit transparent than i would have expected it to be so yeah um i started thinking about making a paint with me series just to put in my disorganized thoughts and you know talk about tips with painting with whatever medium I'm using in that video because I'm still organizing the tutorials you know because that's gonna get into more specifics compared to these ones so yeah I figured why not just make paint with me so that I could talk about my process and you know personally I like listening to people talking while I paint so maybe I can Company, you guys doing that too. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you know that I've been trying so hard to time my recording my voiceovers because it's been raining a lot here and oh, the rain is just so loud on the roof, I can't record anything. I hope everyone's keeping safe right now. Wash your hands, people. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so sorry, I forgot. <laughs> so if you guys haven't guessed by now. So today I'm gonna be painting um, characters from Hereditary. So I'm a huge horror movie fan. I watch them when I'm stressed out. I know, weird. I also watch them before I go to bed because it helps me sleep more. <laughs> Am I a psycho? in my dirty palette yeah i don't clean them <laughs> uh i'm lazy cleaning my palettes because like i tend to use the colors that are on them still and it takes me a long time because whenever i start painting i tend to pre-mix the colors that i already need but lately i've been getting the hang of um pre-mixing i mean no not pre-mixing uh, mixing paints and colors with gouache that sometimes i just tend to you know just mix the colors on the palette when I need them. And yes, I do keep my paintbrushes in a spam tin because I don't have the cash to buy proper storage organizers for my desk. <laughs> oh, you guys should practice intuitive mixing. We'll get into that in another video. But yeah, or you guys could just search it right now. Also, warning, I am not a gouache pro whatsoever. Everything that I'm saying here is just what worked out best for me. I think, oh, uh, when did I order this gouache? Um, I ordered it like June? Yeah, so I think I've been, yeah. I've been just painting with gouache for about um, more or less two months now. Not completely two months because, yeah, I started uh, fooling around with my markers since I saw them. I'm like, yay! Let's try portrait with markers. Yeah, but um, 
I've only had my Hemi gouache for two months. I ordered it off Shopee for 820 pesos. Also, quick review. Um, they're really good paints for beginners. Honestly, I was shocked that they performed well. Compared to the gouache that I had, which was from Pibeo, I honestly did not like this gouache whatsoever. I used it once. And I was like, no, I really don't like it. The paint is too chalky. The pigment came off on my fingers when I rubbed onto the painting that I've done. And I just really didn't enjoy painting with them. Honestly, just get the Hemi gouache, you get loads more paint. And you know, it's not, it's not that chalky, honestly. You could work with it. But then there is no light fastness whatsoever. Well, we'll get into that in another video as well but for beginners anyone who wants to try just order the hemi gouache it's worth your buck so while i'm painting this i'm actually watching hereditary for like the fourth time now <laughs> also when i paint faces or portraits or anything skin <laughs> um i tend to look at the undertones that the face has so like here with a nat wall's face he has more of um reddish undertones around the eyes and then a greenish greenish undertone for his five o'clock shadow and the rest of his face has more purplish like there are purplish spots in there and it's mostly yellow undertones so that's how I usually get onto painting. But then sometimes I'll, I also like using non, like not natural colors on the face. Um, with the first portrait I did here, obviously you can see that I just used yellows and oranges and reds. Uh, well, then the picture was like that. The screen cap was like that because she was standing in front of a burning man. <laughs> um, but yeah another thing that i do when i start painting i never used to do this a lot but then um i found these portraits to be a bit smaller than what i usually do so after i put on the initial base layer that i'm going to use for the face i then go in with a darker color uh usually a really dark brown to just um, what do you call this um identify the main features of the face so that the proportions like i said they don't get all wonky so that I, that i can still see them under the paint it still shows through even after putting layers and layers while building up the structure of the face i never use black like maybe 0.01 percent of the painting i'll use black for like the pupils but that's it because um, it tends to throw off the entire painting. It makes it look washed out most of the time. Hmm, what else? Um, oh yeah, Ugh. I'm still doing this for the uh, Meds 50 Heads challenge. I'm nearly done, thank God. Because I've, I mean, I admit I've drawn it out because I wanted to paint every face and I guess I made them way bigger because, you know, it, it's just me. I'm like that. Um, make me work hard. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I said, I'm still organizing and planning the tutorials that I'm going to make for you guys. So please be patient with me because it's also raining so much here right now and i always have to find a time to actually record the videos without that much distractions and also i'm so piled up with works but yeah please leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you want to see a particular kind of video or a tutorial on something it helps me a lot um yeah i hope you enjoyed me talking for like um nine to ten minutes <laughs> i hope my voiceovers are getting better so if you guys have any more questions or you know content that you want to see in my future videos that i could add you know it helps me a ton to get more materials for future videos 
if you guys made it this far into the video thank you so much uh please leave a comment below what's your favorite horror movie and you know the drill please like comment and subscribe to my channel and be sure to check out my instagram thanks guys